So, uh, a while back, Annabelle came down with uh, mastitis. Uh, we had tried to dry her off and uh, thought that she was dried off. And then uh, a couple months later, when I went to check on her, she wasn't hot in the udder. She didn't seem to have a fever. But when I brought milked her, she came out with some uh, thick, clotty milk. And so I tested her, and of course, she tested positive for mastitis. So I pulled her out. So we went through, we did it, and I think I did it wrong. I think I did it wrong. Hindsight 2020, there are some things that I wish I would have done, but I didn't. And I didn't think about it at the time because she is pretty much drying off. She's not producing much milk. She's probably producing about like a pint of milk between her four quarters. So, um, so I reached out to them and, uh, cause of course, of course we went through, we did the treatment. And, uh, then when we tested her after the uh, shedding period, it, uh, it came back, came back positive for mastitis still. Um, mind you, once again, like I said, hindsight 2020, I did some things that I missed. I missed some things suggested that we actually take the clear cell because she is drying up. Um, he suggested we take the clear cell, uh, put in 15 milliliters for each teat. We'll obviously strip her out first. So just strip her out first completely, put 15 milliliters in each teat, and then let her go for about two to three days. Then strip her out a second time fully, another 15 milliliters in each teat, and then let her go. Um, like I said, she's pretty much dried up. We're gonna put her on some dry aged hay so that she's not uh, being encouraged to produce more milk. And he said that should work. She should get through it during her dry period. And then when she freshens again, she should be good. Okay, so I got the clear, clear cell dry cow udder oil. I got four tea infusion canola tips. And then I've got my 35, it's technically 35 milliliter syringe with the slip tip, I think is what it's called. I'll link it down in the description below. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get 15 milliliters um, I'm gonna first clean off her teats and then strip her out as much as possible so she's got nothing in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and infuse her. All right, so we're gonna need, let's get one of these out. And we want to make sure we use a fresh one every time so we don't have any cross-contamination. So we got a new one. And the tips fit over the canolas very nicely. We're going to pull out 15 milliliters, which is also 15 cc's. All right. And then it doesn't hurt them. It just kind of feels weird. So sometimes they might kick. So I'm going to strip this out as much as possible. So there's nothing coming out. There we go. All right. And then you'll see the hole of the teeth. Just slide it up in there. Good girl. And I'm going to go slow. Good girl, Annabelle. That's such a good girl. This is going to help Mama. All right, first one done. We're gonna get the others done. Good girl. What? Something's on fire over there. tractor running so I'm assuming they're just burning brush but it looks pretty big from where I'm at. I'm just gonna go investigate make sure nothing make sure they got it under control. This wind's got ma making me a little nervous with all the stuff blowing off of it. Okay, good. Awesome. <laughs> Poor Leon, he's like, Mama, there's a fire next to our fence. 
there's a fire, it's burning, it's getting out of control. I was like, hold on, buddy. They got the tractor out there, they're tilling the ground around it. They got it. Oh, wow. Goodness. Oh, that's intense. They're, they're doing a control burn, buddy. That's what, that's what you do. See all that dead grass that they got growing? They're gonna burn it down. It's gonna provide nutrients to the soil and help the grass grow back. They got permission, so they're doing it right. That's what's important. Just do it right and do it safe. So they're working on it right now. Isn't that cool though? Yep, it's gonna, cause all that stuff is dead. So you see how he, what he did with the tractor? He went around and he disked up the grass. So it's, there's like a dirt lane around then, the perimeter. And then it became so dry that it just caught on fire? No, 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 no. They, they did that on purpose. Yep, that's, uh, I can't remember what they call that. But they, they, it's basically meant to prevent the fire from spreading. So, oh, wow, look at that. Yep, that's gonna clear up all this brush. Hopefully kill off some he's of the invasive weeds down. that he's got in there. He's starting to turn down. Mm-hmm, yep, as it's, it's moving away from us now. I'm starting to regain my strength from that piece. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see where we started, we started um, away from the wind. Yeah, and it's gonna push the fire. Yep. So now we got this on the fire, so we're gonna start lighting up. Yeah, see, he knows what he's doing. He's got this. That's cool, huh? Uh-huh. You ever been this close to a big brush fire like this? I've never even seen a big one like this. Yeah. The farmers do this. Take it easy. Yeah, wow, look at her over there, Leon. caught on fire from space. So did you know that there was such a benefit to fire? Nope. Yep, so, so the ash, ash it's really rich with nutrients. Nope. Yep, so did you know that soil around volcanoes is some of the richest soil in the world? Oh, so it? Because of the ash oh. from the lava. So it's, so you're saying it's very dangerous to get some of the richest soil in the world? It can be, yeah, but ash is really, really good for soil. It's very acidic though, that's what you got to be careful of, but as long as you balance the pH, it's very beneficial. So his pasture is going to be really, his grass is going to come in really nice. Alright, come on bud, let's get back to Annabelle. So now that we did that treatment, we're going to let her hang out here in the paddock with Hannah and Riku on a low grass. Uh, we're actually going to separate her here in the next couple days and uh, put her on just aged hay. And uh, then in two to three days, we're gonna pull her back out again, uh, strip her out, and uh, give her another dose. And then from there, just let her go, let her dry up, and uh, let her put some more weight on, get prepared for her calf to be delivered sometime in April at the earliest is when she's expected to be due. So I'll see, hopefully this works. If you want to see some uh, extra little clips and things, some funny videos and stuff from us on the homestead, uh, we are actually also on TikTok um, at Our Organic Life. I'll leave a link down below to that. And uh, we post some funny videos here and there just to brighten people's days and have a little fun. So you guys take it easy and I'll keep you posted. What are you doing? Are you in the bucket? <laughs> are you going to get out of there? This way. All right. <laughs> Go put that bucket up, bud. Let's get out of here.